To continue exploring functions further, let us study one-to-one -one functions and its inverse. Let us recall the concepts that we learned from the review of relations and functions by answering the following questions. If a unique input yields two or more outputs, is it a function? If your answer is yes, what type of correspondence is being described? Apparently, it is a relation which can be described as one-to-many. If a unique input yields a unique output, is it a function? Definitely, the answer is yes, and the type of correspondence being described is one-to-one. -one. Now let us determine whether the given relation is a function. If ever, let's decide if it is one-to-one. -one. The relation pairing an SSS member to his or her SSS number. The relation pairing a real number to its square. The relation pairing a person to his or her citizenship. And here are the answers. The relation pairing an SSS member to his or her SSS number is a function, because each member is assigned a unique number. Furthermore, two different members cannot be assigned the same SSS numbers. Thus, the function is one-to-one. -one. The relation pairing a real number to its square is a function, because each real number has a unique perfect square. However, two different real numbers such as 3 and negative 3, may have the same squares. Thus, the function is not one-to-one. -one. The relation pairing a person to his or her citizenship is not a function, because a person can have dual citizenship. Citizenship is not unique. To further describe a one-to-one -one function, let's consider the definition. The function f is one-to-one, -one, if for any x sub 1, and x sub 2, in the domain of f, f of x sub 1, is not equal to f of x sub 2. That is, the same y value is never paired with two different x values. All functions satisfy the vertical line test. And all one-to-one -one functions satisfy both the vertical line test and horizontal line test. Let's take a look at this graphs. Now let's do the vertical line test. And now the horizontal line test. Both the graphs below are functions. Now study this table of values given by the equation y equals 2x minus 1. In table A, verify that it is a one-to-one -one function, by taking note that no two y values share the same x values. Let us invert the values of x and y, using table B. Does this table still represent a function? We can see that still, it represents a function. Because, each x value has only one y value. The previous illustrative example, showed us the inverse of a one-to-one -one function. In inverting a function, consider the following. If the x and y values of one-to-one -one function are interchanged, 
the result is a function, but if the x and y values of a function that is not one-to-one -one are interchanged, the result is no longer a function. Definition. Let f be a one-to-one -one function with domain a and range b, then the inverse of a function f, denoted by f to the negative 1, is a function with domain b and range a, defined by f to the negative 1 of y equals x, if and only if f of x equals y, for any y in b, a function has an inverse, if and only if it is one-to-one. -one. To find the inverse of a one-to-one -one function, we may follow these three simple steps. a. Write the function in the form y equals f of x, b. Interchange the x and y variables, c. Solve for y in terms of x. Let us apply those steps, to example 1, find the inverse of, f of x equals 8x minus 3. Example 2, find the inverse of, f of x, equals 1 half x plus 11. Example 3, find the inverse of, f of x, equals 3, over, 2x plus 1. After exploring the essential concepts and various examples, you may try to perform seat work number one. Which of the following relations are one-to-one -one functions? And seat work number two, find the inverse of the functions. Once again, thank you, dear students.